Watch your spacing. Stay in line. Music. Music. Good. Good. That is why she's an understudy and not prima ballerina. What kind of lazy entrance was that, Natasha? I'm sorry, Mika. I can do better. Well, what are you waiting for, an imitation? Do better, Miss Azaroff. We leave for Singapore in three days. If you haven't got it by now, maybe we should just cancel the whole tour. Now, again, from the beginning, go, go, go. Thanks for this. Joel was supposed to meet me in the auditorium about an hour ago. Yeah, she's been known to keep people waiting. It's the whole prima ballerina thing. It goes to their heads. Oh, good. That should be fun. Ms. Harper, Tia Tremblay, the reporter, we were supposed to meet. I don't think she's there. Okay, let me just call. Weird, she never goes anywhere without her phone. Jewel, are you in there? Are you okay? We're coming in, Jewel. Trying to break a record there? What? Well, I'm starving. I haven't eaten since last night. I'm so worried about running into Sandy at the hospital and avoiding the cafeteria. Well, I thought you guys ended it on good terms. Ish. I mean, it's still awkward. It's hard to get over your ex when you're running into her everywhere. Like lunchroom, hallways. The only place I can be sure I won't see her is the men's room. Quite frankly, people are starting to talk. You can't avoid it forever, right? I know. Just tell uh, For now, I'm happy I got this place. Cheers to that, brother. Good for you. Hey, speaking of uh, uncomfortable work situations, how's the new boss treating you? Man, he doesn't trust me. Honestly, I don't know if I trust him either. I don't know what the guy's thinking, you know? <laughs> you don't know what he's thinking? Do you realize the irony of that statement? I get it. <laughs> Are you going to tell him about your... No. Are you kidding me? I, I don't know how he's going to react. You don't think he's going to find that eventually? Toby. Yeah? Something's hey. happened. You okay? The article I was writing? Yeah, the, the ballerina thing. Jewel told me she had information that would bring the entire company down. When I got there, her dressing room was completely trashed. And she's gone. What do you mean she's gone? She's disappeared. And I think someone might have done something to her. Trombley Daily Record. We actually met years ago. I covered the Hastings story. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You and your team did an amazing job getting that kid back home safely. Thank you. Look, I brought Tia in because she's working on a story about the Northern Skies Ballet. Stop. You're not about to pitch me a case from a reporter, are you? Jewel Harper, the prima ballerina, has gone missing. That sounds like a metro case. Thanks. They're not lifting a finger for 48 hours. That's their procedure. Procedure's wrong. 48 hours can be too late. When Jewel Harper contacted me, she told me there was corruption within the company and she was scared for her safety. I show up to do the interview and her dressing room's completely trashed. She's nowhere to be found and she's left behind her cell phone and her wallet. Jewel Harper, she's married to the artistic director of the company, right? What, guys, I used to date a ballerina. Yeah, Mika Kane, he's also the resident choreographer. So you think someone found out about the interview and was afraid you were gonna expose them? The company leaves for Singapore in 36 hours. We can't afford to wait for Metro to start investigating this. Solving a high-profile case like this would be really good for the unit. Ballerinos. OK, solve it. But solve it fast. So bad. Yeah. Jewel may be our star dancer, Mika. But enough is enough. She's costing me too much money, too much aggravation. I agree, but cancel? No, no. Natasha will replace Jewel. Natasha, Jewel will have a fit. Mr. Kenne? Yes? We'd like to speak to you about your wife's disappearance. Uh, okay, Susan, can we pick this up later? Come find me. 
Like I told the other officers, Jewel's a high-strung, dramatic woman. She's done this before. She's disappeared before. Why? Well, she loves the attention. Feeds on it. She finds out the police are looking for her, she's gonna love it even more. I'm sorry. She's wasting her time. And her dressing room being trashed? I mean, how would you explain that? Ah, she's never done that before, but it could uh, very likely have been another one of her temper tantrums. And where does she go during these tantrums? I don't know. You, know, you should talk to her friend, Aaliyah. Yeah, we had someone speak to her. Jewel didn't show up there. Huh. So you had rehearsal here yesterday at 5 p.m.? I did. Where were you before that? I was in and out with meetings. Who were those meetings with? I'll have my secretary email you my schedule. Should I know something here? It's starting to feel a little like an interrogation. Not at all. We're just trying to figure out what happened to your wife. What is your relationship like? Oh, no. You know, we're passionate people, so we have our ups and downs. You're nothing without me. I made you. I made you. Is that all? What are you insinuating? I think that's all for now. Here's my card. Please give me a call if you hear anything from your wife. Yeah, well, just see, she'll be back here any second. This will all just have been another one of her dramas. I saw them argue. He was angry, he was threatening Jewel. I said, we bring him in and sweat him a little bit. I don't want to make Becker suspicious of how we made the leap. We need more. True. There's no sign of forced entry. Yeah, there's some blood over here. That's a passive spatter. She cut herself. Or well, someone cut her. On this? And then the blood smeared over here. Yes, and someone picked up that vase and, and then threw it towards this mirror. There's some blood down here. Those droplets are pretty large, teardrop shaped. You can't get that from cutting yourself on glass. Yeah, someone threw something at her to create that splatter. Let's test both areas of blood. I bet we'll get two different sets of DNA. I bet you're right. I know I'm right. <laughs> hey, what do you guys have for us? Well, what you see here was not done by one person. It was clearly signs of a struggle. Any witnesses? Well, we've spoken to almost everyone, and no one seems to have heard or seen anything. The assistant stage manager was the last person to see Jewel, and that was just before 9 a.m. And then it wasn't until Toby's girlfriend came in at 7.15 that they realized she was gone. So this could have happened any time between 9 and 7. Dev, I need you to check out Mika Kenney's alibi. He says that he was in meetings all day yesterday. Okay. You guys found her cell phone? Yeah. Uh, she texted her friend Aaliyah, said she was scared. I should be on the list. Be right back. No, I'm sorry. Sure. Hey. Hey. What are you doing here? My editor's on me. He wants me to file a story this afternoon. Look, I can't tell you anything about this investigation to you. I know, but I can print rumors or, you know, you can give me something solid to go off. Come on, Toby, can you just at least confirm for me that she was taken? Just something, just a little nod of the head. Tell me I'm right. Honestly, we still don't know. Okay, call me in a few hours. Maybe I can give you something then. Actually, you know what? I have a question for you, actually. Yeah, I see how this is gonna work. Did Jewel ever mention that Miko was abusive? No, but honestly, wouldn't be surprised. I've been doing a little digging around, and there was an incident about a year ago. No charges were laid, but the police showed up at their house after a 911 call from the neighbors describing what they thought was a pretty serious fight. That is very interesting. Thank you. No, but, hey! Ever heard of quid pro quo? I just, um, I missed you guys. How's everything going there? We're good. She's asleep, hence the whispering. <laughs> I figured. You know, babe, we're okay. You don't have to worry about us. No, oh, I'm, I'm not worried. I just, I miss her. Can I miss her? Yes, <laughs> of course. She's here. Okay. I gotta go. I'll call you later, okay? Hey, Misha. Yeah. We miss you too. We understand this isn't the first time Jewel has disappeared. 
everyone we've spoken to says she's a bit of a diva. And she's done this before. Like I told the officer back at the theater, yes. Sure, Jules demanding, but she's a professional. She would never leave so close to a performance, let alone a tour. You weren't concerned when you received the text messages from her? <sighs> of course I was, but I don't know. Joel can be dramatic. I'm scared, Aaliyah. I think he's done with me. They're pushing me out. What does that mean, pushing her out? Joel was paranoid a younger dancer was going to come and take her place. It happens to all of us. Was that happening to her? Honestly, um, since my early retirement, I've stayed clear of all the rumors. I'm happy to just teach the little ballerinas of tomorrow. All right, well, she wrote, I'm scared. What is she referring to, her husband, Mika? Possibly. I don't know. Don't say anything, Aaliyah. Promise. 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 Did she ever mention if Mika was abusive? I, I don't know. Yeah, well, look, I know this is hard. She's your friend. She's my best friend. We grew up together. We dreamed about dancing together. Well, then you should have her best interests at heart. Tell us everything. Did she have an argument with anyone yesterday? Possibly Mika? It's possible. Yeah. But I didn't see anything. But he has hurt her in the past. Yeah, he has. And did she call the police? <sighs> no. She was embarrassed to look like a victim. And she'd hate that I told you guys any of this. She had too much pride. Hmm. Well. Oh, I'll be right back. So, it looks like Mika and Jewel own two cars, one of which is a black C-Class Mercedes, and I got a hit of the license plate on a 407 traffic cam. Where? Well, the car exited at Wilbur Highway about an hour north. That was yesterday at 12.30 p.m. And when did it come back on? That's the thing. It didn't get back on the highway. Well, all that's up there are some cottages in Wilbur Park. Let's get our people patrolling the area. I was actually going to go up there myself. Okay, Toby and I are almost done here. We'll meet you there. The car's registered to Mika Kinney. There's blood stains there and there. All four tires were punctured, which more than likely happened when they tried to enter the park. Park's closed for the off-season. There's spike barriers at every entrance. Well, that explains why the car never made it onto the so highway. So how'd the perp get out of here? Walked? Road? Who knows? Maybe they had a car parked somewhere close by. Over here, you can see a small, minute blood trail that leads up to the river. These boot prints you see here, they belong to the perp. They go off in that direction, and then they get lost. Okay, can we get cast made of those? Of course, yeah. Thanks. We found these by the river. A piece of clothing. And a tube. The jewels? We won't know until we get the DNA test results back. We're still looking for the body. Becker. Tell me you found her, McCluskey, because the media is hounding me for a statement. Not yet, sir. But this looks like it's more than a missing persons case. I think we have a homicide on our hands. Rumors are running wild, Toby. You gotta give me something. Tia, I've been ordered not to speak to the media. Okay, so then don't say anything. You can't get in trouble if you don't say anything, can you? Where are you going with this? I'm gonna make a statement. If I'm right, keep quiet. Simple. Here we go. Jewel was abducted from her dressing room. And you found evidence leading you to believe she was killed. You heard that from an anonymous source. <sighs> you okay? I, yeah, I just feel somewhat responsible if she died because she was going to talk to me. Dear, if it wasn't you, it would have been another reporter. It's not your fault. I know. Go follow your story. We'll talk later. The boot print found in the park is a men's size 10. I should have the cast finished in a few hours. What about the tooth? A left central incisor or the top front tooth. It appears to have been extracted with a blunt force to the jaw. You can see the crack in the chip right here. Is it Jules? We can't be sure, but it does match the DNA found in the park and in the dressing room. However, if you remember, there were two sets of bloody prints in that room, and only one of them is a match. OK, so if we find out who was in Jules' dressing room, maybe we find our killer. OK, thanks. Let's see what we can get out of Mika. What the hell's going on here? You asked for a sample of my DNA, I said yes. You keep me locked in this room? When I ask for an explanation, not one person can give me an answer. 
Mr. Kinney, please have a seat. I don't have time for this. My tour for Singapore is days away. Now, where is my wife? What's going on here? Mr. Kinney, you need to calm down. We believe that your wife was abducted. There's a chance that she may have been killed. What? No, 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 no. She, she, she was... A jewel disappeared sometime between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. yesterday. Where were you during that time? I, uh, I... I told you, I was, I was with a sponsor. Your assistant gave us your itinerary. The only thing you had was a meeting with Mr. Bernard Koss at uh, 9 a.m. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. Well, we spoke to Mr. Koss, and he said that your meeting ended at 10 a.m. We know that you were at the theater at 5 p.m., so where were you between 10 and 5? I, I had lunch. Um, I did some errands. Is it possible you were with Jewel in her dressing room? Somewhere you shouldn't have been. Someone you shouldn't have been with. Are you having an affair? What? No. No, of course not. Who's it with? One of the dancers? Maybe Jules understudy? No. Natasha. Is that who it was? Where did that come from? We have sources. I want my lawyer. Now. Of course. What's your shoe size? 10, why? We'll make sure that you get your lawyer right away. Nice work. This saw's reaction when you brought up Natasha. It's impressive. Hundreds of dancers and you got there in five seconds. Yeah, well, she's someone we should talk to. Yeah, I still think we should hold on to him though. His alibi is weak. It's the right shoe size. He's our prime suspect. But we're going to need a search warrant for his house. We need to find those boots. Okay, I'll start the paperwork. Okay, great. I want a copy of this interrogation video sent to me. Only me. Got it? Yes, sir. Natasha, we know that you are having an affair with Jewel's husband, Mika. What? <laughs> no, who told you this? You saw him yesterday, right? No, it is not true. I was at the theater. Lying is only going to get yourself into more trouble. If anyone finds out I slept with him through the room, it will ruin me. Yeah, you've got more than your reputation to lose if you don't cooperate with us. We know you saw her yesterday. She invited me to her dressing room to talk. You're trying to steal my whole life! First my husband, now my career? When what time was that? Around 10.30. How'd you get that cut? Just a scratch from my cat. So you won't mind giving us a sample of your DNA then? DNA? Why, what for? Why did I listen to Mika? You have any idea who might have done this? No. I know nothing. Okay, well, I think that's all for now. You're free to go. Thank you. I think Mika may have had an accomplice. Mrs. Gall now. Tia Tremblay, I know as head of the board, you must have your hands full right now, but I was hoping I could ask you a few questions. Tia Tremblay, someone passed along the online article you published this afternoon. You're clearly a fan of sensationalism. It was the first in a series of articles I plan on publishing until this matter is resolved. What can I do for you, Ms. Tremblay? Jewel claimed there was corruption within the company. But of course, every story has two sides. I'd love to hear yours. Jewel is hardly qualified to imply that the company's corrupt. Would you care to elaborate? No. I do not. But I am truly deeply saddened, Miss Tremblay, by the events that have occurred in the past couple of days. We here at the ballet consider Jewel to be a part of our family, and she will be greatly missed. It sounds like you've already decided she's dead. This interview is over.
So where are we on this? Well, if the killer dumped the body in the river, then it could take months to recover it underneath all that ice. What about our suspects? Well, at 11.30 p.m. last night, Jewel sent texts to her friend Aaliyah saying that she was scared. Uh, Mika claims to have last seen her at 7 a.m. the next morning. Uh, the assistant stage manager saw Jewel enter her dressing room at 9 a.m. At 10.30 a.m., Natasha Azarov entered the same dressing room where an argument took place. Yeah, Natasha joined the ballet company about a year and a half ago. Since then, she's worked her way up to becoming the understudy. We believe Natasha is having an affair with the artistic director, Mika Kene, who also happens to be Jewel's husband. We suspect that Natasha and Mika were together between the hours of 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Which uh, neither will admit to. So it sounds like Mika and Natasha are each other's alibi. Yeah. I mean, did they kill her together? Well, we only found the one set of male boot prints at the park, so the likelihood that Natasha was there is slim at best. Thank you. Okay, here we go. As you can see, the wear marks on the tread are almost exactly like Mika's boots. Well, that puts Mika at the park. Well, maybe not. I made this from the boot prints that we found in the snow. It does show the same wear patterns as Mika Kinney's boots, but the depth of the imprint tells a different story. Mika weighs approximately 175 pounds. The person wearing these boots weighs at most 120. So Mika didn't make the boot prints. Someone was framing him. Could it be Natasha? I mean, Natasha kills Jewel and then frames her lover? Why? What's the motive? Let's bring her in and find out. Okay. Your DNA test came back, Natasha. The scratches on your arm, they came from Jewel. Yes. You didn't just go to her room to talk, did you? You wanted to be prima ballerina, so you killed her to make that happen. No! Oh my god, oh my god. What if I did, what if I did? And then you framed the man you were having an affair with because you were afraid he would find out. No! You can't lie to us. We're gonna prove that you dragged her body into that river. No! anyone i didn't mean to hurt her please i didn't mean to hurt her <laughs> so jewel and natasha had a fight in the dressing room that much we know but if she killed her i don't think it was premeditated I mean, she practically admitted to it mm. i believe her when she said she isn't sure and when you asked her if she dumped the body in the river i saw confusion and surprise on her face you think someone else moved the body? Well, let's look at the time frame here. I mean, let's say it's true that Natasha and Mika had a rendezvous that afternoon. Did she drive up north to dump the body before or after that? See, I don't think she had enough time to do it all and get back for rehearsals. Okay, so we keep looking? She's our prime suspect right now. Yeah, I know. We keep her, but Toby's right. We're going to need more. Okay, but you're running out of time. Since your girlfriend's story was published, my phone's been ringing off the hook. Everyone's screaming for a statement. Can only hold them off so long. We're on it. Okay. So what did you see exactly? I saw a fight in the dressing room. Jewel went down. It looked like she wasn't moving. You think she killed her? I don't know. I saw Natasha running out of there. And, you know, as for the park, I don't think Natasha was there. Okay, well, the boot casts take Mika off the table. Without him or Natasha, who does that leave us with? The other person in the park weighed under 120 pounds. I think we need to speak to everyone in that troop again. When Jewel contacted Tia, she mentioned something about corruption, right? Maybe this goes back to the company. Yeah, I'll go speak to Tia. Okay. Look, Mish, she lifted her head for the first time. That's you. Hey, how's your day? It was okay. What about you? Any, any breaks? Uh, look, I know that you brought us the case and that you have a job to do just like the rest of us. But you can't tell me anything about the case. I know the drill. But that doesn't mean you can't tell me if you know something. Honey, if you want intel from me, it's gonna cost you. Honey, are you extorting me? Well, this is what you get when you mix business with pleasure, babe. What do you want? An exclusive. Done. Only after the case is solved. Deal. Okay. 
I got something. I went to see Susan Gull now today. The head of the board. Hmm. It was the way she spoke about Jewel. Like, she seemed to imply she was dirty. I don't know, but maybe you'd want to read her, because she's definitely hiding something. It's a good tip. Thank you. Don't forget. I broke quo. You will get the exclusive. Good. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, no, no problem. You sit down. I, I have a few more questions about Jewel. There's really nothing I haven't already told the police. Well, I see. I'm more curious about your relationship with her. Our relationship? Mm-hmm. Couldn't have been better. Unless you count the fact she made my life hell. Hell. See, because I, I heard that there was some animosity between the two of you. Oh, don't believe everything you hear, Mr. Logan. Uh, dancers like to talk. Jewel was a kind, compassionate person. See, that's not consistent with what I've been told. I'm not sure what to tell you. She was loved by everyone. You get Aaliyah out, or I'll have you kicked off the board immediately. Good night. Well, then I guess my information about Aaliyah King, her best friend, is wrong. Aaliyah, what did you hear about her? Just that Jewel got her pushed out. No, not true. Susan, I understand your hesitation. We're just trying to find out what happened to Jewel, and everything helps. Aaliyah had been prima ballerina for less than a year, and then Jewel forced my hand. Can you just listen to her? Jewel had the board of directors in her pocket. She was going to have me kicked off the board if I didn't agree to make her the lead dancer. Was Aaliyah aware that Jewel was behind it? I don't know, Mr. Logan. Maybe. Aaliyah King. Maybe she found out that Jewel got her removed as prima ballerina and wanted revenge. Well, they were best friends, right? She probably had access to her car, her home. Yeah, and guess who just happens to own a cottage about 30 minutes away from where we think the body was dumped? Leah King. Let's go pick her up. Did you find anything? Maybe. This looks pretty fresh. Is that rubber? Hmm. <laughs> oh. yeah. It's probably the boot. What's this? It's a piece of fabric from Jules' costume. <gasps> no, I... I know Jewel, and she wouldn't push me out. It was Omika. He's the one who forced me out. But you still blame Jewel, didn't you? No. We were best friends... Yes, I was a little bit jealous, but prima ballerinas come and go. I had my time, and it was over. Do you spend much time at your cottage? Sure, it's been in my family since I was a kid. What does my cottage have to do with anything? We found traces of Jules' blood and some of her clothing burnt in your fireplace. What are you trying to say? Did you kill her? No! Oh my God, they think it was me. Where were you that day, Aaliyah? No one at the ballet saw you till 3 p.m. Oh, oh, I was at home. Can anyone confirm that? No. I never heard her. Not ever. Not ever. I swear I didn't kill her. Okay. <laughs> Leah is telling the truth. She didn't kill Jewel. You're kidding me, right? She's got the motive. She's the right weight to make those footprints in the snow. She's got no alibi. And the boots and Jules' clothes were found burnt at her cottage. I understand how this looks, but I've got a feeling that she didn't. Feelings don't convict criminals. Evidence does, Logan. And it's piled up against her. So make the arrest. Please. You know, Tia, I, I, I love that our, our relationship has gotten to the point where you feel just, like, super comfortable just setting up shop here and using my 
gastro pub as your home office, but you look like you're with the Board of Health or something. You know what I mean? Mm. I know. I'm sorry, Oz. It's just, I'm just trying to find a break in this story. She was convinced that the ballet company was dirty, but I, I haven't found anything. Okay, well, I can't really offer you a break in the story, but how about a break from the story? Oh. Turkish appetizer platter on the house? I love it. Yeah, that's great. Make that too. Hey. Hey. Okay, but yours you have to pay for. I got bills. Whatever. That's fine. Pretty face discount. This one. Read your brother Leah King. Yeah. There's no way she's guilty. Okay, I may not read minds, but I can tell that this woman is not a killer. I know. I read her. She didn't do it. But without any hard evidence, I can't convince Becker. Go back to Mika. All the research I've done, it's all pointing towards him. I got a hold of Jewel's health records. As soon as Mika and Jewel were married, her trips to the hospital went from non-existent to way too frequent. Broken fingers, black eye. She had a cracked rib on her honeymoon. Well, that doesn't prove that he's a killer. Last month, while on tour in Paris, he knocked her tooth out. Aaliyah had to take Jewel to the hospital for emergency dental work. Jewel claimed it was she had bitten into an apple. 2 a.m. She had bruising all over her neck, really. Biting into an apple. Which tooth? You're missing the point. She clearly didn't bite into an apple. No, Tia, which tooth? Um, the front top left one. Why? Hey, Michelle, meet me at the office. I think I know what happened to Jewel. I'll right, see you there. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, did I just give you another tip? What is this? You knew Jewel was beaten. I didn't think it had anything to do with her disappearing. We were there the night. She got her tooth knocked out in Paris. What are you saying? You stay away from her! Away from her. It's okay. Shh. We're gonna get her to the hospital, okay? It was her front left tooth. This is also her front left tooth. We found this in the back seat of her car out by the river. What? What are you saying? Did you do something to Aurelia? No. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't take it anymore. He's killing me. I want to be free. You'd tell us if you knew what happened to her, wouldn't you? Yes. Of course I would. We can't hold you any longer. You're free to go. We'll be in touch. Better be right about this, Logan. I am. Otherwise, we'd just let a possible murderer go free. I'm right. I know I am. Why? How did you find me? When I figured it out. Were you done? I knew you'd come here. I, I didn't think you'd remember. <laughs> Car broke down just over there, right? This is the B&B we had to stay at while they fixed the engine. And you said, so this is what freedom feels like. To be in a place where nobody knows or cares who you are. He was killing me, Lee. This would be my new beginning. I stay here until things quiet down, until my face isn't in the news anymore. And then I make my way down south, start my new life. To throw away everything, your career, your, 
your friends? Your entire life. It wasn't a life, Aaliyah. So you framed Mika, Natasha, even implicated me. They were never supposed to suspect you, Lee. You went to my cottage to hide the evidence. Of course they suspected me. I did what I had to do. Jewel, this is crazy. You're never going to get away with this. Is that a threat? Are you going to try to stop me? Because I won't let you, Aaliyah. I've come too far. Hey, Jewel, stop right there. It's over. There's nowhere to go. We know everything. You only know half the story. We know about the abuse. What Mika did to you was horrible, but there are other things you could have done. Like what? Call the police? He would have sat in jail for a night. No, he needs to suffer for what he did to me for every slap, every punch. You are so sorry. I should have done What would you have done? No one can help me. Well, Jewel, drop the gun. You know, I bought this to use on Mika. Jewel, don't do it. Don't throw your life away. It's too late. It's too late. No, no, no. It's not too late. It's never too late. I've lost everything. You haven't lost, Jewel. But if you pull that trigger, Mika wins. He's not worth it. You can't let him get away with what he's done to you. Be okay. Put the gun down. <laughs> so what is that now? Adultery, innocence, guilt. Man, there's no limit to what you can read in someone's face, is there? So what's going to happen to Jewel now? Well, she's looking at doing time, that's for sure. Framing someone for murder is not your run-of-the-mill fraudulent act. Well, she was in a desperate situation. I'm sure the courts will take that situation into account. Mm-hmm. I gave all of the files about Mika's abuse to Metro, so he's not going to get off that easy either. Nicely done. Everyone? What's this? Everything okay? Yes. Adam, he keeps sending me these photos and videos of Carrie's big... Milestone moments makes me realize what I'm missing. Okay, so in your ideal perfect world, Carrie would only have these milestone moments on weekends, nights off. Exactly. Okay. All right. Thanks for sitting down with Tia, by the way. It's a big story for her. Of course. ask you something and I think it's gonna sound silly and selfish but okay can you stop sending me photos and videos of Carrie's big moments the little stuff and the cute stuff that's totally fine but the big moments not so fine I just thought you want to see it when it was happening I know I know I'm gonna miss out on some of her big moments but seeing it all on my cell phone for the first time it just kind of breaks my heart. So maybe when I get home, I can see it for the first time then. Hmm. Is that ridiculous? No. I get it. You too. Come here. I mean, I should have known. Oh. Right? No. Yeah, it was a cry for help, and I never saw it coming. No one could have seen that coming, Tia. But I should have done my research. Maybe I could have helped her. Look, she was using you. Your interview was a part of her plan to frame Mika. I just can't, can't imagine what state of mind she would have been in to do what she did. Did you file your story? My editor already called. AP is picking up the story. Hey, cheers to you. Cheers to that. Cheers to you for getting me the exclusive. Hmm. Quid pro quo, right? Mm-hmm. You make a pretty good team. We should do it more often, don't you think? Nope. Don't think. Bad idea. Working with an ex-girlfriend or girlfriend. Not advisable. 
I'm gonna get your love and feet back in no time, buddy. Time schmime, Anastasia. No, I'm taking action, my friend. What'd you do? What did I do? Yeah. I took a six-month leave of absence from the hospital. Plunging all my energy into this place. Are you serious? I could not be serious for my friend. More serious. Exactly. At least we don't have to see Sandy. It's a win-win. Well, here's to doing what we love. Natasha. Is that who it was? Where did that come from? <laughs> Natasha. Is that who it was? Where did that come from? <laughs> Natasha. Is that who it was? Where did that come from? How the hell does he know that?